what a difficult year we have all lived through and uh, I hope for you there have been some glimmers of light and pleasures along the way, sort of backward blessings as it were, hopefully. I know for me, I have very much uh, been thinking about what 2020 was supposed to be and what it ended up being. And it was supposed to be a year where I traveled around to release uh, my album, uh, Le Grand Affair Deluxe Edition. I was going to uh, be singing in tribute to Michel Legrand, who passed away last year. And this was really meant to be a celebration year. We did a few of the memorials, and some of them were canceled this year, and a whole full year of tributes in celebration of his life. Michel Legrand, for anyone who doesn't know who he is, was a film composer, composed over 300 movies, won many Oscars, and was nominated for 15. Uh, and he wrote songs like The Summer Knows and Windmills of Your Mind and What Are You Doing the Rest of Your Life? Uh, you Must Believe in Spring, I Was Born in Love With You, Little Boy Lost, uh, How Do You Keep the Music Playing, which is essentially the anthem of our time right now. All these beautiful songs, many of them Oscar-winning songs. And he wrote a Broadway musical, which I had the honor to be uh, the leading lady in, which was incomprehensible to me at the time, and even as I say it. So uh, it was such a thrill to know Michel Legrand and work with him to do concerts and to become friends. And we made an album together, which I released in 2011 after I had my children. It was called Le Grand Affair, and it was a record with the Brussels Philharmonic, 100-piece orchestra that he arranged and he conducted himself. And when Michel sadly died um, in 2019, I reissued the record under the title Le Grand Affair Deluxe Edition, and I recorded the last song that he ever wrote with the Bergmans, which was such a thrill to do, and what a wonderful song called I Haven't Thought of This in Quite a While. What I think defines the, uh, the deluxe edition was the inclusion of several recordings of Michel teaching me his music at my piano in my house. He would say, Melissa, no, 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 Melissa, me free. He'd be playing Windmills of Your Mind and teaching me how to sing his music, me free, me free, which is a definitive, me free. And you can hear him talking, and you can hear the way his creativity works on those uh, demos. They're listed on the album on side B as the demos. And you can hear in those demos um, the way he would be playing something straight out of Poulenc or Satie or Ravel and quickly start a jazz, a, a jazz rhythm and then another jazz rhythm. And then he would be absolutely free rubato out of time, you know, completely just spiritual filmic uh, approach. So you can hear how he's teaching his music with a genre bending freedom. So I hope you enjoy the record if you ever get a chance to listen to it. Those demos are raw, but they really show how his mind just went from style to style with no reserve at all. I was really moved to see Broadway World recognizing the project, recognizing the album, the tribute, and the FIAF concerts in the French-American conversation uh, that I had um, recently. So what a delight and what an honor and a treat to finish the year with those nominations. And so thank you, Broadway World, for that. And uh, for everyone out there, I hope that you will assess um, this time, if there are any glimmers of light in the middle of all of this, um, that you'll look for them and find them. And thank you for being a part of my, um, my life, my music, and uh, uh, community here um, through technology, how we stay connected. So happy holidays to everybody.